Okay, so this video is going to be very real and it's not going to really be edited. I'm not going to take out the breaths that I usually take out because I take a lot of breaths when breathing for these videos, but I'm not going to take any of those out. I'm not going to put background music. I'm going to put something on screen and that's it. This morning I woke up to probably the second saddest celebrity or bigger figure-esque deaths that I've experienced in my lifetime. Now, to give you some context about what I'm gonna talk about today, this morning there were multiple articles that broke that broke the news that on March 1st, 2024, Akira Toriyama passed away. Now, most of us know him from the Dragon Ball series. And that's what I'm mainly going to touch on, but he was much more than just Dragon Ball. He was a creative and an incredible mind. Um, and I just want to give my respects to him for this f opening portion uh, before I kind of just ramble for the next probably few minutes. But I'm not someone who gets really close to celebrities I don't hold celebrities at a higher standard than I would hold myself. I feel like people put celebrities on this pedestal and I just don't think it's right. I think everyone has something special about them. I think it's important to glorify what makes us special, but not to or over glorify it to create egotism. And for myself, there have only been probably three other times that I've felt this way about somebody passing away that I didn't know directly. Um, Kobe Bryant comes to mind. Paul Walker comes to mind. And as weird as it might sound, Juice World comes to mind. Um, those are three very pivotal celebrity deaths that made me really reflect on life. And this one is now the fourth. Akira Toriyama created Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, to me, was one of the shows that was pivotal. I hold it into the same category as things like the Nintendo Wii, uh, the GameCube, the DS, uh, things from my childhood that really impacted me. You know, those things that leave a mark on us. I, th I feel like we all have them. And Dragon Ball, for me, was a very big one. To give you some context some more, I was an only child growing up. My parents worked a lot. I would spend a lot of time in school, and then my elementary school would have like a daycare afterwards. Now, when I was getting older, it was getting a little, a little too much money-wise for my parents to keep up. And luckily, when I was in first grade, I met one of my best like life friends and I'm, I'm talking like this is one of those friendships that's like you tell your kids about you know because they're like your family and this kid and his family would eventually become my god uh family which is a very white thing but anyway um this kid was very much into anime when i was not uh i've learned a lot from this kid and his family in terms of like asian culture because i'm not of that culture and this was one of those things. He was always watching two shows that I would see when I would come over and I would either watch over his shoulder or I would be doing homework while he's watching. And it was Naruto and Dragon Ball Z. Now, Dragon Ball Z was one that I instantly connected with. You know, I grew up doing karate and taekwondo. So a lot of people that were at my dojo uh, were fans of Dragon Ball uh, for Halloween parties. You know, I would recognize Goku's jacket because there would be people at almost every Halloween get together slash party that would be dressed up as Goku. And then I dressed up as Goku for Halloween one year. And, you know, for me, it was such an important series because of how it kind of connected me with this one said friend, but also just in instilling a lot of my personal values. You know, I have insane confidence in myself, almost like Vegeta level confidence in myself. Um, but I also know to love my fellow man and to hold and protect the people I love the most, like Goku. And I know that if 
pushed to my limits and pushed to the extent where I need to flip a switch in myself to do so, I will. And I learned that from Gohan. And I could do this for pretty much every staple character in the show. This universe that Akira Toriyama created raised me. I would not, and I know I said this in the Pokemon video about Pokemon, but I seriously doubt that I would have as strong as a connection to playing single player games and games with my friends if it wasn't for this universe. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 for the Nintendo Wii is one of my favorite games of all time. And that's because of the memories that me and my said friend made on it. You know, the story mode to follow the events of the show slash manga. Uh, the tournament mode where you could just pick random fighters and have them pl play out scenarios that never happened for your own sanity. And just playing the game, listening to the audios, listening to the music, just gasping at how amazing it was to have these different combo systems and to be able to play as all my favorite characters as a kid blew my mind but it really opened me up to the world of gaming <sighs> sorry i'm trying not to like <laughs> i'm trying not to get myself too worked up here because, uh, you know, I'm not going to cry over it, but it was definitely something that made me tear up because it was the first thing I saw this morning. Um, but without Akira Toriyama, my life would be so fucking different. And I, and I say that like wholeheartedly. There are very select few things that I can name off the top of my head that had a huge impact on me. And Dragon Ball is always and will always be one of them. Even if I'm not kept up with the manga anymore or the show um, or even the games. You know, I haven't played a Dragon Ball game since Budokai Tenkaichi 3 because I just never got connected to another one. Um, which is why I'm excited for Tenkaichi 4. But I, I, I want to just make this video to thank him. You know, if any nobody watches this video, I'm not going to give a shit. Because to me... Akira Toriyama was so much more than just a creative mind. He was someone that crafted this beautiful universe that had so much deep damn lore to it and all these different unique characters. And, you know, when we when we see art styles like Dragon Ball, most people say this is an Akira Toriyama-like style or inspired style. Things like Dragon Quest would not be around without this man. And... He just did so much for me and so much for a lot of people in my life. Uh, so I wanted to make this video to celebrate him. In the culture that I'm a part of, when somebody passes away, it's more important to make it a celebration of their life rather to be sad by it. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I want to celebrate Akira Toriyama for not just the accomplishments he had, not just the the fact that Dragon Ball, I think, is on like its 40th anniversary this year or whenever that new show comes out. It'll be like the celebration of the 40th year. But to celebrate a guy who had an idea, stuck to his guns, and made that idea into one of the most recognizable and iconic franchises to ever be created. Without Akira Toriyama's mind, we would not have so many of the fantastic cultural icon universes, characters that we all know and love, and we might not even know it because maybe someone who created this one show saw Dragon Ball for an instant and was like, this makes me want to go out and create. So this video is titled Dear Akira Toriyama because I wanted to make it almost like a letter to him. So Dear Akira Toriyama, thank you for creating what you did. I hope that with your passing, you know and understand just how many people you touched throughout your life. You created 
universes and stories that will stick with people for literal generations to come. You made characters that people loved. You made characters that people despised. You created moments that people were okay with and that upset people. But that shows just how fucking important your series and your mind was. But most importantly, I hope you know that even though we will miss you and the world of animation and manga will never, ever be the same without you we are all more than happy to have gotten the time we did with you thank you for being you